Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to get started with transparent OLED displays and make some projects out of them. Thanks to dfrobot.com for sending out these amazing displays. These are the 128 by 64 pixel OLED displays. The driver chip on these displays are SSD 1309 which works same as the SSD 1306 displays but with the SPI interface or by their own GDI interface. On their product page, they have provided full details about the display and also how to get started for the first time. So quickly I have followed their product wiki page, connected the display with Firebeetle ESP32 using GDI cable and ran a quick test code. The problem with GDI interfacing is that the most of the boards doesn't come with this GDI connector. So I moved to SPI interfacing. For the SPI interfacing, I am using Adafruit's SSD 1306 library. We can use these see-through displays in sci-fi helmets, masks, costumes, props and more. For this video, I am going to make a winter soldier mask with animated eyes. So I went through Thingiverse and chose this mask, downloaded the STL files and opened them in Flicing software. For the slicing, I am using 0.2mm layer height with 20% infill and with tree support enabled. After the slicing, I have 3D printed the objects. The 3D print came out perfectly but with a crack because of the material that I have used. And yes, lot of support material. I removed all the support material and painted the mask. This is my first time making some prop project, that's why I don't have much knowledge about prop 3D printing materials, layer fillers, sanding.
Open the given Arduino code in Arduino ID. Paste the template ID and device name from the Blink template that you have created. This code is used to explain in this video, so I will try to explain it in the tutorial article. Now choose the board type as ESP32 dev module, choose the correct COM port and upload the code. Download the Blink IoT app on your phone, log in with the same account. Turn on the ESP32 and click on the three lines on the top right side. Click on add new device. Here you will find the device that you have created. Click on it. Select your home Wi-Fi, enter the password and click on connect. After the device is connected, you have to set up the dashboard. For that, you have many widgets. Just drag and drop 3 sliders and set the sliders as shown. And that's it, now you can pick with the sliders in order to change the animations and texts. I hope you found this video to be useful, if so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you next time.